test, testing, 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 one, two, one, two. Today we want to speak on the misuse, the misuse of Arras, amongst the Arrastas. There's a misuse of Arras, among Arrastas. What is this about? First of all, Arras is a, is a ancient, modern, Ethiopian title. And the title has a meaning, has a significance of this language. Unfortunately, many of those who claim to be Rastas or Rastafari, when they claim to be Rastas, they abbreviate their glory, which shows that there must be ignorance or a lack of knowledge of something that's very, very important. And what's important is the true knowledge of the King of Kings and his Christ. So there's a misuse of Ras among so called Rastas. And this one fool makes many kind of syndrome basically breeds among many of the daughters this um empress madness There's this empress madness that's going on on with the misuse of rice we'll deal with the sisters after we take care of this situation with the brothers first of all to be a rastafari means that you have to accept the good news of his imperial majesty and accepting the good news of his imperial majesty means accepting the Gita, Gita, the Adonai, Yahushua, Yahushua HaMashiach, Gita, Jesus Christos. And if you don't do that, then you're just a product of Babylon. Babylon likes to stereotype, Babylon likes to take certain things that are real and to manufacture into a product that's not real. And this is what's happened with the over commercialization amongst uh, Rastas and the reggae, reggae business and the reggae music. So the misuse of Aras among so-called Rastas, and there's also a lack coupled with that lack of knowledge. She said, Aras is a title, and just because you claim to be a Rasta or even a Rastafarian does not mean that you are worthy at that novice stage of your own growth and your own comprehension and awareness of the roots of Rastafari. So, when we start to learn these things in the proper order, the Bible teaches us that all things be done decently and in order. The Bible also teaches us, and this is the glory of His Imperial Majesty, teaches us that let's not go beyond that which is written. So, this, there is a need for education, and education is the key. So, we need to address this as so-called Rastas and Rastafarians, the misuse of Ras as well as the lack of the full knowledge of the meaning and the truthful meaning of Rastafari because as we mentioned earlier Rastafari does not mean head creator and if you ask most of those who say most of those Rastas who say that Rastafari means head creator if you ask them do they know do they speak read and write Amharic we're not even speaking about fluently, but do they even have any working or operational knowledge of the language of the King of Kings, of the language of Haile Selassie? And if they're honest, the majority will have to say that they don't. That they don't. So when you ask them, well, how did you come to believe or make believe that Rastafari, the meaning of Rastafari means head creator? That's half correct. So we have ones and ones running around out there misrepresenting his imperial majesty and misrepresenting the elect which is Rastafari and this is a very serious issue that needs to be more fully addressed we need to understand that when we truly are Rastafari we must first deny ourself pick up our cross and follow the Mashiach and in doing that we therefore become worthy over time and over growth you understand of the title Rastafari of the title Ras in our names yes testing 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 one two one two